Hi everyone, my name is Shauna in case you don't know and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be making some season 5 Riverdale predictions. There is currently five episodes out of Riverdale season 5 and I have watched all five of those episodes and I have some predictions for the rest of the season. Some of these may not happen, some of them may happen, but I'm really curious to see what people think of my predictions. So my first prediction is that Archie and Veronica will either get back together or have a fling. Archie is always cheating on everyone and hooking up with literally everyone and I feel like the chemistry between Archie and Veronica isn't entirely gone after the time leap so I think they are gonna at least hook up if not fully get back into the Veronica relationship. Wait, Veronica? No. Why did I say that? I meant Barchie. Why did I say Veronica? No, not Barchi. Barchi. I'm all over the place today. Their ship name is Varchi, right? Veronica and Archie equals Varchi. Why did I say Veronica and Barchi? What the heck? I think Veronica's just gonna cheat on her husband because it's Riverdale and everyone cheats on everyone, it feels like, and Archie loves hooking up with every girl in town. My next prediction is that Tawith the Tate, Pop Tate's granddaughter, will hook up or end up dating Jughead. I just feel like there's chemistry between them, like in episode 5, I don't know, I just feel like there's chemistry between them and I felt like that seems like something that may happen. And like, I feel like a lot of people like Bughead and I used to like Bughead, but then after Lily Reinhardt and Cole Sprouse broke up, I just don't see the chemistry as much anymore between those two characters and yeah, I think that it would make sense if they put Jughead with another girl and the only one that makes sense would be Tabitha. My next prediction is that the father of Tony's baby will be revealed and my prediction is that the father is Sweet Pea. So Tony has been dating Cheryl for a long time obviously so she is lesbian and then when she had that little hookup with Jughead, I think it was in season two, she said she prefers girls. So that makes me think that she wouldn't be in a serious relationship with a guy in that time gap, time leap thing, that's seven years, that we don't know what happened in it. So my guess is that there was like a close friend to her that she would have like gotten drunk and had to hook up with or that she would have like talked to them and then she would have been like okay let's have a kid together and the only person that like fits that would be Sweet Pea because Fangs and Kevin are gay and they're together so I'm thinking that Sweet Pea is the father and I'm thinking we're gonna find out who the father is even if it isn't Sweet Pea but I hope it's Sweet Pea because I think it would be fun if Sweet Pea was a father Oh, I need to turn off the volume on my phone. My next prediction is that the trash bag killer who Betty has had flashbacks about is somehow going to be connected with the girls that are like screaming and running at the end of the episodes. The reason why is because we don't often have loose ends relating to like scary and like violent things in Riverdale. Like normally we have a clear conclusion like yeah we have some loose ends where the writers just like toss characters out of the story for no reason but like we don't get loose ends when it comes to the killers and whatnot and I think that the trash bait killer is somehow going to be connected. I don't know if I'm going to say that the trash bait killer is the main villain in this season but I feel like he may somehow be connected and even if it's just like he comes back like with a vengeance to try and get Betty I think he's somehow gonna come back into the story and I think it's gonna like shock people where he comes back I don't think it's gonna be what we expect because Riverdale has a lot of plot twists and a lot that we don't expect so I think he's gonna connect in a way that we don't expect it and my final prediction for Riverdale season 5 is another one about a relationship I feel like a lot of Riverdale that I focus on is the relationships because I'm not the huge fan of like scary things so I analyze the relationships a lot more than like the scary things in the show. But I think that Tony and Cheryl will get back together. I don't really know what the dynamics will look like. I don't think it will be like as like lovey-dovey as it was before, but I think they're definitely gonna get back together. It really seems like they both have feelings for each other, but Cheryl is really like struggling with her family like legacy and I feel like she is really struggling with being her own person and trying to distinguish herself from her family because she's really fallen into the trap now of like, I am a blossom, we have bad family history and that type of stuff. So I feel like she's gonna have to have some sort of like self-realization moment or like self-discovery moment. And I think that self-discovery will allow her to be back with Tony again because it's clear that Tony still cares about Cheryl too. I think it's gonna be a little weird winner if they get back together because Tony is gonna have a baby, but I think that it could really work out and I think that Cheryl could like spoil the baby and give the baby like the best outfits and stuff. So these were all my season 5 Riverdale predictions. I really hope you enjoyed them. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you haven't already. And Riverdale is on every Wednesday and then it is free on the CW app. So I highly recommend checking out the new season of Riverdale if you haven't already. The previous four seasons are all on Netflix. It's a very addicting show. It does have a little bit of like cringy moments, but I love it. I freaking love it. Anyways, if you want to see more TV show related content, feel free to subscribe to my channel because 
I upload a movie or TV show related video every Monday on my YouTube channel. If you have any predictions for Riverdale Season 5, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below, and I will see all of you in my next video. Goodbye!